see, many of the fruits and vegetables you eat every day are grown right here in Georgia. Our fertile soil and mild weather are ideal for growing fruits and vegetables like cucumbers, bell peppers, squash, and eggplants. Let's take a closer look at how they get from Georgia farms to your table. Are you cool as a cucumber? This popular saying comes from the cucumber's ability to stay cool when the temperature heats up. In fact, cucumbers can be 20 degrees cooler on the inside than the air that surrounds them. Cucumbers are a vine fruit related to watermelon, pumpkins, and squash. Cucumber seeds are very sensitive to cold weather, so they must be planted after the soil begins to warm in the spring. They like plenty of sunshine and nutrient-rich soil that is moist but not soggy. Cucumber vines like to climb. A trellis helps keep the cucumbers clean while they grow. One vine can produce up to 125 cucumbers. It can take up to 20 bee visits to pollinate each cucumber flower. Sometimes the farmer sprays sugar water on the vines to attract more bees. Cucumbers contain most of the essential vitamins you need every day, as well as lots of healthy fiber and potassium. Bell peppers are the crunchy, sweet-tasting variety of their famously spicy cousins, the jalapeno and habanero. The pepper is actually a fruit because it comes from a flowering plant and contains seeds. Did you know that green, red, yellow, and orange bell peppers are all the same variety? The colors appear as green bell peppers continue to ripen. Peppers are grown from seeds that are planted in pairs to help protect them from the sun and improve the amount of peppers they produce. Peppers are extremely heat sensitive. Regular watering keeps them cool and hydrated as the peppers continue to grow. Sweet bell peppers have lots of vitamin C, vitamin A, essential minerals, and other disease-preventing health benefits. Did you know there are many varieties of squash? The word squash actually comes from a Native American word that means eaten raw. But we definitely like our squash cooked. There are two types of squash. Summer squash comes from a bushy plant with fruit that is picked while still immature. Yellow and zucchini are varieties of summer squash. Winter squash are vine plants with fruits that are allowed to grow and ripen until fall, developing a protective skin that can keep up to six months in cool, dry storage. Winter squash varieties include acorn, butternut, spaghetti, and pumpkin. Squash are often planted after other spring crops. In fact, planting a few seeds in midsummer helps avoid many early spring plant pests and diseases. Squash plants need a lot of sun and nutrient-rich soil. The soil needs to stay moist four inches below the surface. All squash are naturally low in calories. Winter squash are an excellent source of many essential vitamins and minerals. The pigments that give squash their color can help fight disease and infection. Squash seeds, like pumpkin, are a good source of healthy fats and protein. And summer squash are a great source of vitamin C and dietary fiber. Eggplants likely got their English name from the color and shape of one variety, which can vary from round and white to slender and purple. This tender vegetable is a key ingredient of many international cuisines and easily takes on the flavor of savory sauces. Like its cousin, the tomato, the eggplant belongs to the nightshade family of plants and was once actually thought to be poisonous. Cultivation of eggplants begins indoors two months before the soil warms up. The farmer plants these seedlings two to three feet apart and applies nutrients every two weeks during the growing season. He'll pinch off parts of the plant to promote a taller, bushier shape. Stakes are needed to support when the plant begins to fruit. Eggplants are low in calories and offer many health benefits, including dietary fiber, essential vitamins, and minerals. The purple skin of the eggplant can help fight aging, inflammation, and disease. 
Georgia-grown vegetables like cucumbers, bell peppers, squash, and eggplant aren't just good, they're good for you. So be sure to look for Georgia-grown produce at a market near you.